Today's video is based on a few questions that I've had from black belts. Some are friends of mine that I know personally, some are gym owners that I know, some are people that I don't actually know well, but they sent me these messages in their black belts. And they're sort of sh grappling with this question of being an aging black belt and whether or not they're even black belts anymore, right? If they even deserve to be a black belt. And um, one of them, you know, basically, actually, this is kind of the similar sort of story that they all have, is that they were young, they trained really hard, got good at jujitsu, and then they got their black belt and they were you know, killing it, whatever else. And then what ended up happening is for different reasons, maybe they weren't able to train as much or they have jobs, careers, families, things like that. But they run into the situation where all of a sudden they're getting beat by like the young purple belts in their gym that are, you know, getting after competitions and stuff like that. And it's, it's frustrating to them, you know, and it makes them feel like maybe they're not really a black belt because, you know, in jujitsu, we sort of always base everything on like, does it work? Can I use it against someone? Whatever. And... You know, I think this is one of the things that some other martial arts do a little bit better than jiu-jitsu. They pay a little bit more reverence to the people that have been there, done that, some of the elders. But again, they're getting to that point where they're wondering whether or not they're a black belt. Now, I'm going to share some ideas on this because, again, I'm not old, but I am getting close to 40 at this point. And I've gone, I've been grappling since I was about 14, 15 years old and wrestling, got into jiu-jitsu when I was 18. And trust me, grappling at different periods of time in your life, it's very, very different, you know? I mean, because what you're really doing in training anyways, at least in my book, is that whether we know it or not, we're trying to consistently train to get to this point where we have this intersection of our best technical ability with our best sort of physical ability, right? Where basically maybe you're in your prime physically and then you're also really good technically and you have this magical period of like being really, really good and then it starts to decline. Hopefully a slow decline, but it begins to decline, right? That decline is, is, is it's tough because when you think about what happens in jiu-jitsu, it's something that can be very tough in the beginning and also on the other side, but it's also a really beautiful thing. Every one of us has this sort of movie reel that plays in our head about who we think we are, right? It's kind of like plays in our head. I'm this person and I do this. And I mean, if I asked you a question of who you are, you would probably tell me the stuff you do, your name. I mean, you'd tell me this little story, right? Of who you are. So we have this little story going on in our head all the time. Well, when you train jujitsu, that story is constantly being updated with new scenes because you're changing as you go along the way, right? So you first start in jiu-jitsu and maybe you were like me and you thought you were going to be pretty good. I personally thought I was going to be a blue belt when I started jiu-jitsu. Not even close. I started jiu-jitsu and got submitted by the smallest guy in the mat. And that was the end of that. And I sort of humbled myself and realized, okay, maybe I was a good wrestler, but my movie reel updated and said, I suck at jiu-jitsu. I need to train. And I started training and then I got better right? And I got way better. And then there was this point where, you know, I'm a young black belt. I was in my physical prime. And at the same time, my technique's pretty damn good. And man, I mean, I've, I felt great. You know, this is just not very long ago. I mean, I'm 37, still perfectly physically fine, but still not physical prime, right? And I felt great. I could roll forever. I mean, there were days, I mean, here's like one of my stories. Here's a great one. My dumbass thought this was going to be a good idea. I had my birthday when I was 32. We were going to do a 32 minute like shark tank. Now, for me, for whatever reason, 32-minute Shark Tank sounded awful, which it is. So I thought, you know what? I'll just submit everyone. I'm just going to... I don't know why this was, sounded like a good idea. I told everybody, I'm just going to submit you today, and that's what I'm going to do. And they're like, okay. So I rolled with, like, this huge group of guys at the gym. Some of them were black belts and super tough black belts. And I submitted everyone. It took me 75 minutes, and I was exhausted. And I remember, like, a couple of guys were like, dude, that was amazing. Holy crap. Like, that was crazy. I could do that when I was 32. Can't do that now. If I did that now, I'd probably like have you probably find me in the hospital afterwards. <laughs> um, but I used to, you know, be able to do these things. Now, as I'm getting older, I have to take more rest and take more time off from things like that. I can't train as hard as I used to. And some of the younger guys can nip at my heels a little bit better than they used to. And I can't put it on them like I used to. It's not a bad thing. I'm just changing. And that movie reel has to get updated. And again, I think this is is actually a really good thing because you think about how many people, like for instance, come into jiu-jitsu and maybe they were like a star athlete 20 years ago and then they think they're going to come into the gym and just be like killers and then they get into it really quickly and realize, oh, I'm not what I used to be, but they haven't done anything physical so they don't, they don't realize it. It's almost like getting an update. You know, <laughs> they went from Windows 3.1 to like Windows 10. You know, it's a big change. And uh, they haven't updated in a while. So it's like getting an update on your phone or something. It's kind of the same way. As we train, we constantly get these physical updates. Now, you know, my question to my friend that asked that question about, am I really a black belt? I asked him what he really thought a black belt was. And obviously, it was about the knowledge that he gained, the perseverance that he went through, all this stuff. And I was like, again, all of that. None of that has anything to do with you being able to smash a 20-year-old, right? And so, again, 
This is just me sharing some encouragement to other aging black belts. There really isn't some nice snappy point. But again, it's something we're all going to go through. We all have to experience. I mean, it's just the reality of the situation. And I think that, you know, as we begin to shift from, you know, the hard hitting, boom, 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 getting after it, sort of young black belt, we're going to shift into that black belt as we get older. And we're then going to have to be more focused on like sharing the information, right? Like we have to focus on more of like giving to these younger people so that we can help build them up because yes, they may be able to destroy us with youth or whatever, but they still be making mistakes that we could help them improve upon. And likewise for the younger people that are in jujitsu, make sure you don't make the mistake that a lot of young people make in jujitsu, which is they, for instance, they might roll with an older black belt and because the older black belt can't submit them, you know, whatever, he sucks, right? Doesn't suck. You might be 22 years old. Like I might be 42 years old, big difference in age, but you would be wise to listen to them, right? We, we don't discourage that kind of idea anywhere else. Um, you know, for instance, like I've had mentors, all my mentors have always been older than me sharing ideas with me and give me these ideas that I could use for the rest of my life. And like, thank you. I listen. Same thing for a lot of times with black belts, even black. And I've always been pretty good about this. If I roll with a guy, even if I, if he can, if I can beat him and tool him up, I've learned a lot from guys that like I could easily beat with rolling, but they had really cool details about stuff that for whatever reason, they were just in a frame that, you know, wasn't as young, wasn't as heavy or whatever that couldn't deal with it. So again, that's my encouragement on both sides, right? As you get older, just accept who you're becoming. Let that movie real update. And also for the younger people that are coming up, don't discredit the ability, the knowledge of an older black belt just because they can't beat the living snot out of you left and right because they've probably got some good details. And if you're smart enough, you'll listen to them and you'll gain that information so you can use it yourself. And, you know, again, more than likely, they'll be able to help you get better faster. And uh, that's that. So anyway, guys, for the old black belts that are out there, hopefully that's useful to you. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.